Okay people, this is himself. Welcome back to another Tekken 7 Dragunov guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Dragunov's punishers. I'll be covering standing and while standing, and I'll show you the best follow-ups he has. But before we begin, there's one thing I want to mention. My testing has all been on Yoshi, and that's because I feel he represents the average character. His hurtbox is somewhere between male and female, and his movement is also average. So if something works on him, it should work on the majority of the cast. I have also tested on Elisa and Lily, and that's because both these characters have exceptional movement. So if something works on all three characters, then it should work on everyone. With that out of the way, let's get on with this. So at 10 frames, Dragunov has 1-3. This is 21 damage, and it puts him at plus 1. From there, he can extend the string with 2. Now this is minus 12, but it catches all side steps, and it can wall splat. To make people duck, we can use D2. This also catches all movements, and it's zero on hit. To stop the low, people can use a 12 frame mid, but to counter that, we can use 1 2 1. Now, this is a counter hit combo, and it can also wall splat. The only problem is that it's minus 14, and it won't catch side steppers. An alternative punisher is 2 1. Now, this is 3 points less, but it's plus 6 on hit. From there, D2 is your best slow, and DF1 is your best mid. It will track all sidesteps, but it can whiff against backdash. Strangely though, it will touch Lily, but she can sidewalk it both ways. At 12 frames, we have 4-1. Now this is 27 damage, but it puts us at plus 8. Again, D2 is your best slow, but for mids, we have 3 good options. The safe one is DB21. This tracks all directions, and it's minus 10 on block. But, we can hit confirm it, so really, you should never be punished. The only danger is against Elisa, because she can sidewalk left. An alternative mid is back 1 plus 2. This is 22 frames, so it can be interrupted. But again, it tracks all movements, and it's plus 6 on block. If they do try to interrupt it, then the best counter is DF3. This also tracks all movements, and on a clean hit, we get extra damage. The move is also safe, so there's no risk either. For 14 frames, we still have 4-1, but for pushback moves, we have back plus 3. This is a safe high, and it puts us up plus 11. From there, D3 is your best slow, but I couldn't find a good mid to go with it. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. At 15 frames, we have DF2. This is a launcher, and it gets us an easy 60 damage. The good thing is that it will also launch crouches, but like most moves like this, it's also minus 12. For 17 frames, we still have DF2, but for moves with pushback, we can use F1 plus 2. This gives us an instant tailspin, and from there, 60 damage is on the table. At 18 frames, we can theoretically use quarter circle forward 1, but your execution has to be spot on, and really, this move is more of a whiff punisher. The same is true for quarter circle forward 2. In theory, this can come out in 22 frames, but again, it's more of a whiff punisher. Moving on to wild standing punishers. At 10 frames, we have full crouch 1. This puts us at plus 6, and we recover crouching. But, what we can do is hit forward and recover standing, and that means that we can then use D2. For a mid, we can recover crouching and use while standing 4. Speaking of while standing 4, this is our 11 frame punisher. It does 15 damage, and it puts us at plus 6. From there, D2 is your best low, and for a mid, I couldn't find anything reliable, so as before, if you have any ideas, let me know. At 12 frames, things are a bit complicated. For outright damage, we have while standing 1-3. This is 29, and it can wall bounce. Now in the open, that will knock down, so if you want plus frames instead, go for while standing 1-2. This also does 29, but it puts you at plus 10. From there, D2 is your low, and DB21 is your mid. The thing is, both of those options have short range, so to cover that, we have while standing 1 plus 2. This is 2 points less, but it covers more distance, and it can wall splat. At 15 frames, we have while standing 2. This is pretty much like his DF2, and he gives us the same kind of damage. So those are Dragonov's punishers, but in a future video, I will be covering his frame traps. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure you give this video a like. It really helps out this channel, and it motivates me to do more for this character. In the meantime, have fun, 
play well, and I'll see you guys in the future.